like Christmas. What do you got here, Ellie? Got some some tape. Let's play The Price is Right. What do you think this here? A box of fabulous tape. How many rolls of tape? You're not allowed to guess. Let's see how many. It's. I did them all the box. Four, eight, eight, sixteen, twenty, thirty-two rolls of tape. We're playing The Price is Right. What do you think? Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. You guys suck. You're good at this game. I was listening to The Price is Right the other day, and I'm terrible. Oh, thank you. One of the black ones. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. Maybe next year. Birthday wish came true. Thanks. Otasia wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah, neither of them were were they? Yeah. Wow. I had like two I had like a chair on both sides, just I was like, well this is weird. I was like, Jess, I swear I have friends. I swear I'm on a team. Freedom was there. <laughs> independence, not yeah. so much. Yeah, independence was independent. <laughs> hey, what's up? What are you doing? Huh? I have to interview you first. Yep. Nope. Later. Oh my gosh. You just hit the camera. You're definitely not holding it now. You better run away. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. No. Not you. Oh my god. Where is it? Where is it? Is it? Oh, it's behind your ear. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Oh, so close, buddy. So close. <laughs> oh no! He's like, I can't, oh. I can't figure it out. It's like mango, peach, cherry, <laughs> juice. <laughs> that person has to shake her for a coffee. I can't have. Leftovers. Well, some of us don't have that much money, Jess, okay? I don't either. I just don't have much money. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we have two shakers. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Did you hear about the new truck he wants now? What do you want? I shouldn't say new. Tell him, Darren. Tell him about the truck you want now. Yeah, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about the best yeah. truck ever. Do it. <laughs> do it, you big piece of crap. It's like, yeah, a, it's like a 1950 Ford now. truck. It's just a nice truck. Come on about it. What do I? It gets over 300,000 miles. The only ones you can find have like 250 already on it. Oh, you're talking about that. The old. Yes. Yeah. Every day he's been looking on his phone. I hate her. <laughs> I really do. You just don't want me to be this. <laughs> <laughs> You've had more happiness than probably every male in here. You don't need any more. I have a wife that yells at me. Dog I don't love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> You're on a roll now. Yeah, I had to sell one of my Broncos. I believe you on one of those. I didn't make okay. you sell that. You called and told me to sell it. I wish. Should I take a rest day today, Darren? Should I, Darren? No. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel bad. I mean, I got a lot of sleep. See? Feel oh, good. Speaker, please come and identify yourself. What up, counsel? My name is JT Parr. I'm a counselor here to defend parties in the Hollywood Hills. I grew up like most kids, learning I couldn't bench two plates, that I wouldn't fit in, that I wouldn't find love. Then I discovered partying, and suddenly all those worries went to the wayside. I didn't need love. I had keg stands. <laughs> I discovered I was great at raging, and it revealed wonderful things about myself. I can relate to bros, regardless of what kind of bro they were. I could be at a party and moon people, and everyone would laugh. You know, be witty. 
If you have a lot of house parties, you may keep the volume down, but the externality is that you may keep people from bonding. America needs bonding. People need to put aside their differences and find common joy. There's no more effective environment for that than a freaking rager. This is the best example of like any Chad's relationship. We were star-crossed. He a server, me a body Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And I so did they outlaw house parties? <laughs> it's a compelling argument. That's good. Good stuff.
Andre. How was that? It was good. What are you drinking? Cherry Bundy, cartridges. What flavor is it? Uh, it's just the original, 100% cherries. Sip it in between workouts. Uh, so like this morning, we do, we'll probably do two or three workouts. Um, I'll just sip some in between each one, and then uh, I like to take it at night before I go to bed. It kind of helps me get to sleep faster and recover more. What are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're debating over power clean and squat clean. Might do one of each. What are you about to do? I'm about huh? to make this bar look easy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, crank it up time. <laughs> There's only two kind of people in this world: fire or wood. You're either gonna be, you're either gonna <laughs> get burned or be burned, baby. <laughs> How'd you hear about Cherry Bundy, Ellie? <laughs> I heard about Cherry Bundy from my teammate Matt Hewitt. He would he kept coming in and talking about how he was drinking tart cherry juice before bed and all the guys were raving about how it was helping him sleep. So I decided to give it a try. Nice Tasia. And so far I've seen huge improvements in recovery and it's really helped me sleep also. I think the tart cherries are high in antioxidants and with what we do, we oxidize our muscles all the time with as much as we work out, and I can really see the benefits of using the tart cherry juice. Cherry Bunny's been awesome. Nice. Yeah, D. through our teammate Matt Hewitt. Um, he brought it in, started drinking it, kind of in between workouts, um, and we saw how much his recovery improved. And so we tried it out for ourselves, and we've loved it ever since. I use Cherry Bundy to help me recover in between my workouts. Sometimes we do multiple sessions a day, so it helps me refuel and recover. <laughs> you ruined it! <laughs> you, said, you said refuel and... No, it wasn't. One word to describe tart cherry juice from Cherry Bundy. Recovery. <laughs>